The movement embodies the benevolent message of Islam and its pristine purity, a movement that preaches peace, universal brotherhood, and submission to the will of God. Ahmadi Muslims have earned the distinction and reputation of being a law-abiding and peaceful community. Within a century, the movement has reached all the corners of the earth and has been recognized and praised by the global community. Love for all, hatred for none. Those words from your third Khalifa are more important, more crucial, more essential today than they have ever been. And of course, the Ahmadi have always practiced this peace-loving philosophy. I am glad and inspired by the fact that the Ahmadis not only preach a message of love, friendship and understanding, but practice it fully in the way you include and invite others to share your I would your thank gun. you also that you have stressed uh, the importance of showing that Islam is the religion of peace, not the religion of hate, uh, as it was stated on the wall in the Yalsa, love for all, hatred for none. I think that is the message that the world really... ...stand at a profound needs. level that promoting religious freedom is an essential building block for peace and stability here and throughout the world. In this we are allied with His Holiness, a courageous champion of religious freedom and of peace. Love for all, hatred for none, is the message that we see in this mosque and from the Amadea Association. Your people have been the leaders in taking the peace movement that one step further. The huge respect we have, we all have, for your work day by day in making a reality of peace and brotherhood across the communities in this country and across the world. <laughs> Wherever the movement has been established, it endeavors to exert a constructive influence of Islam through social projects, educational institutes, health services, Islamic publications, and the construction of mosques. These endeavors continue, despite the bitter persecution that the community suffers in some countries. We need all the goodness we can find in today's world. And I applaud you for your contribution in Britain and worldwide to community cohesion and the enjoyment of diversity that is such a precious asset. And wherever Ahmadis live in the world, you are renowned for enthusiastically participating in the larger community and peacefully living, aside, living alongside people of all faiths, languages and cultures. And I would like to pay an additional tribute to the work being done by Ahmadis in raising standards in Africa and particularly in education. Yes, Britain has welcomed the headquarters of the Ahmadis in this country, but it hasn't become something that's become, as it were, a closed sect in Britain. It's become a community that has sought to reach out to all of us. And that's very important because the best way to break down the barriers of misunderstanding and prejudice is for that contact to happen, and I thank you for that. The Ahmadiyyan community contribute hugely to interfaith forums, to the richness of our community, and that is the same that's reflected across our nation. But what I would like to pay tribute to you as well this evening is the contribution that you make to wider society and the important charitable causes that you support, not just for your own communities, but for the wider communities. And that is to be acclaimed and that is to be applauded. The Amadeir community has been a beacon. It's been a beacon of peace, truth and justice. It's been a stalwart in this city. We are the better for having you. You are tremendous in, in adversity and in triumph. We value your friendship, we value your dedication and your commitment, and particularly your recognition of civic society. The community's many social projects aimed at helping those in need bears testimony to humanitarian concerns in respect of all human beings, regardless of race, colour or creed. The Armidian community have an extraordinary reputation abroad for charitable work in Africa, India, Bosnia and Indonesia, amongst other places, 
But you'll note your community here too have an extraordinary reputation. You have been generous with your time and resources and you have made yourselves part of the wider community. The Amadea community has always been at the forefront not only of helping their own but actually helping within society as a whole is one of the reasons why, if I may say to you, your presence in this country has been so beneficial to us. In the past hundred years, you have given so much to the society in the United Kingdom and to societies everywhere. Your own work, globally. Your Holiness, particularly in West Africa, is well known. And we heard just now about your attempts to bring water and energy supplies to some of the poorest communities in West Africa. Together, we should fight common enemies such as illiteracy, disease, hunger, and poverty. The Ahmadiyya mission has put structures in place towards the fight against these common enemies in order to enhance the dignity of man. The mission has been a vanguard and a partner in collaborating with government in the areas of education, health, agriculture, and human animation. The Amadea community, the mission in Sierra Leone, really they've made a pivotal contribution uh, to the education in our country. You just have to look around wherever you are. And I have to say, Your Holiness, that I was touched by the way in which your predecessor as spiritual leader instructed your community, the Amade community, to befriend and look after those suffering as a result of the Bosnian conflict. And I was very impressed by that. Everywhere that mankind suffers, your members have been active in bringing help and saving lives. At this pivotal point in international relations, many questions and concerns have been raised concerning the doctrines of Islam. Most have incorrectly interpreted Islam as endorsing violence and terrorism. The Ahmadiyya community has always demonstrated the spirit of tolerance, goodwill and true brotherhood. It advocates peace, love and understanding among followers of different faiths. It firmly believes in and acts upon Quranic teachings. It strongly rejects violence and terrorism in any form and for any reason. The movement offers a clear presentation of Islamic wisdom, philosophy, morals and spirituality as derived from the Holy Quran and the practice of the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Peace and blessings of Allah be on him. <laughs> ایک خواب ہے اور مستقل ہے وہ شخص نہیں وہ میرا دل ہے His Holiness, Hazret Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the present head of the community, continues in his effort to unite people from all faiths and cultures by promoting interfaith dialogue and religious freedom. He has travelled extensively to spread the message of peace and to remind everyone to respect the rights of other human beings. During these tours, His Holiness has met world leaders from the Far East to Europe, from North America to Africa discussing the economic, social and political problems facing the world today and how to create peace and justice in the world. He has also met religious and community leaders in order to share common values and core ideals universal to all religions and cultures with a view to improving the moral state of mankind and creating an atmosphere of love and affection. From young to old, he compassionately listens to the ordinary man, regardless of race, color or religion. He has personally initiated social projects and schemes to alleviate poverty and human suffering. His concern is not just about the well-being and moral state of the members of the Ahmadiyya community, but of the great human suffering of mankind at large. The Ahmadiyya community knows only that Islam 
which is the Islam of love and affection, offers a real message of peace and security.